זה לא מעניין אותה, כסף כמו ה... שאני אדבר על זה בעיתונות. אין מיליון יורו בווינה? בטח שיש. אבל לא רוצה שהרפורמים יקבלו את זה? כן. אבל היום רפורמים הם מגיעים לחב"ד, זה כמו אותו דבר. לא. ברגע שזה יהיה... אז אני אקרא את האימייל, תן לי את האימייל, אני אקרא את זה. אין בעיה, אני אתן לך. תן. אה? תן, אני, אני קורא. Operation distribution of the proceeds of monetized recovery assets. The research item having employed ground penetrating radar and geomagnetic and geoelectric methods and techniques having cross-referenced and reconciled rail consignment and cargo manifests, tally sheets and waybills with delivery dates and pickup points and ultimate destinations formally recorded in the last weeks of WW2 are confided in the precise locations where the drilling operations must take place. <laughs> It's a very convincing email that they need a million euros in, in Vienna because of uh, Uh, because because uh, because they can't trust anybody to invest in Vienna a million euros to dig in a bunch of places that some Nazi before he died said he hid a lot of Jewish assets there and he felt terrible about it and all you need is a million euros to find all these assets and um, this is why I love the concept of critical thinking human gullibility being naive loving magic loving magical stories and this is very related to Shabbos kosher and the practices of orthodoxy because nobody knows if there really is a reward for keeping kosher, keeping Shabbos um, believing in certain things, a code of laws and those things change as different uh, era every four or five hundred years those things change drastically but nobody really knows but what's interesting about it is that nobody could no there's nobody that we could talk to like if it's true and God really has a special place of reward for someone when you die for 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 practicing and keeping these laws why can't there be one Pisic or one Navi like the Rebbe who actually knows and seen this place like the Rebbe actually saw what heaven and hell looks like and he's like the guy that we can trust and he saw the other side because we can't talk to God because he never answers So this is interesting about how, the gull how we put our kids in a yeshiva system just to fuck their heads up really good good with human gullibility and you get nothing in return. You just get basically a shape of how there's nobody that can go and investigate a, a site and a plant where someone's about to put an investment because it's... Uh, Nobody's allowed. You can't have a middleman, someone that if someone trusted me and, gave, and, and said I'm giving the investment based on the fact that you've investigated and I would say well I wasn't allowed to really investigate so we're going to eventually have to take it on faith. There you go. That's your Shani V'chamishi. That's how religion basically works these days. If it's really more complicated than that please let me know. Thank you.